Later this week, expect NC Tech to roll out the new firmware for their Iris 360. Hi everyone, Forest Man here with Man Made Productions. In today's video, we'll be diving into the new firmware, covering all the information you need to properly install and update your device. Let's get started. In order to update the Iris 360 with the new firmware, we'll need the following. Access to a computer with internet, a micro SD card and an adapter so you can connect to your computer. Although check your computer, you may have a slot for it and you may not require the adapter. And lastly, the firmware update itself, which will be released later this week. NC Tech's going to post an update for the firmware update on their support portal. So being that you're subscribed to the product news and updates, you're going to get a notification via your email. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Fortunately, I have early access to the firmware update. So without further ado, let's go ahead and install the firmware. Step one, download the firmware update to the root of the micro SD card. The root directory being the initial or top directory of the card. When you pop open your card and you go to examine your files, it should be the first thing you see. Step two, now that the firmware updates downloaded to the micro SD's root directory, we can go ahead and pop it into the Iris 360. Before you start, connect your power device to your camera. Now that our card's in, we can go ahead and turn the camera on and connect via smartphone or tablet. Now that we've connected via smartphone or tablet, we can go ahead and navigate through our settings and locate firmware. Simply click it and update. Step three, follow any instructions that it prompts you to and just like that, your firmware is updated. The update itself can take up to 10 to 20 minutes, so just be patient with it. The Iris 360 will now shut down to completely update any changes to the user interface or functionality of the camera. It's as simple as that everyone, in three easy steps your firmware is updated. I'll leave a link in the video description to NC Tech's product news and updates page. That way when this firmware finally drops, being that you're subscribed, you'll get a notification via email. I hope this video helped. If so, leave a like, drop a sub, it would be much appreciated. Thanks for watching everyone. This has been Forest Man with Man Made Productions. Until next time, take care everyone.